<laughs> well, he just introduced me, so the first half is kind of boring, but I'll do it anyways. Um, hi, my name is Sophia Montano, and I have been a life planner for roughly 17 years now. What do I mean? I like to plan everything. Every individual moment of my life, I enjoy mapping out and having complete control over. So d no pictures yet. <laughs> I know that it makes me sound crazy, but I'm not, I swear. The reason why I brought up that little secret is because one of the many things I've planned out over my life has been my high school experience. So, I thought that today, being the time to publicly reflect on my experience at Oak Grove, I should compare my preconceived idea of high school to what actually happened. So here's a list of what I expected to experience more than four years ago. To be prom queen, to, I know, right? Like, it's Oak Grove. <laughs> to be prom queen, to experience the thrill of having my own locker, which I haven't opened this year, to glide across linoleum floors, prank substitute teachers, pass notes, and quite possibly a love triangle or two. <laughs> I basically wanted to be Hilary Duff at the end of a Cinderella story with a cool car and a super rad boyfriend who loves to surf and lives on Rodeo Drive. <laughs> But that's not, hap that's, that's not really what happened. <laughs> um, in fact, Oak Grove has not lived up to a single planned moment I have ever had. Maybe that's just the nature of life, but I like to think that the spontaneity and individuality of the Oak Grove community and lifestyle are entirely unique. So unique, in fact, that I am not capable of capturing it in a two-minute speech. It's like asking a fish to describe water or a vegan to describe hunger. My life here at Oak Grove <laughs> has been all that I've ever really known. <laughs> Luckily, there's one thing about my experience here that I am 100% positive about. My life here has been absolutely beautiful. The immensely beautiful life that I have lived and experienced here has been created by the relationships that I've developed with all of you. And you too, but mainly them. <laughs> this speech has to be the most difficult thing I've ever written, and that includes a five-page honors paper on a book I did not read. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, it's difficult to, <laughs> oh. uh, he proved this too. <laughs> um, well, it's, diff it's difficult to describe what all of this means to me, what all of you mean to me, because I've never known life without Oak Grove. I've never experienced a school day that hasn't pushed me to learn about my true self. I've never ran out of a classroom to not be greeted by the sounds of calling birds and trees filled with memories. I've never felt that there wasn't a staff member I couldn't lean on, uh, and that reaches from Ronaldo to Meredith. And this includes my family, too. Okay. And <laughs> there's never been a moment where a slew of inside jokes hasn't run through the halls Although in theory I am supposed to be venturing off into the real world of half-pound burgers and ubiquitous competition, Oak Grove has become so much a part of me that my departure from this community only extends to my physical presence. Oak Grove will never leave me. That's my plan in any case. Thank you. <laughs> 